All right, hi again, everyone. I'm Richard Santos with Keller Williams Upstate New York Properties in Oneonta, New York. And today we're doing a quick recon of this 55 acre parcel of land at 1280 Poplar Hill Road, number one in Sydney, New York. So this parcel is actually pretty interesting. You have uh, access from Poplar Hill Road, number one, which is a town maintained road. We're near the end of that road. It's not a through road at all. It's quite private and quiet. There's an entry driveway off the road. It kicks up into a little level area. So the driveway is just off the main road. Poplar Hill Road is just right there. And then you would just pull right up into here. There's a decent sized flat area for turning around. Uh, you do have utility power right there. Um, there is another electric hookup like right there, probably for a camper, I believe. The rest of the property is uh, mostly an uphill sloping wooded parcel, almost entirely in fact. And I'm basically just following these really nice quad roads, uh, logging roads, farm roads that are on this lot. It's a pretty nice big parcel of land. I'm already seeing lots of sign of wildlife and the trail system is pretty neat. So if you're looking for a recreational parcel, this is a really nice option. Close to the town of Sydney, close to Interstate 88, not too far from Oneonta. It's a nice location. Okay, so now I'm on the uh, the northwest property boundary on the low side. That is the property line kind of running just like this uphill. So it's gonna it's gonna shoot uphill. There are a whole bunch of logging roads and there has been some recent logging done. So um, there's little piles like this, which are just the, the the leftovers from the logging. There's it's not actually that bad. I've seen far worse, but you can see stumps up in the distance but it looks like it's pretty selective actually so it looks like they did a pretty good job so i think right there you can get a pretty good gist of there are a few stumps logging has been done and then i think you get the gist of the slope as well um i am I am just about in this very northern sort of corner of the lot. So that is our very far north, north, northeast corner. And this is about as steep as the parcel gets to. This is the steepest it is. And there are still some, there's still some nice timber down here. So this lot is so well marked, I love that. So that marker is showing us the, the end of that northern rectangle-ish lot. So that's the northern line, the upper line there. We are getting a distinct difference in uh, our, our tree types as well. There's more saplings up here and definitely a few more like birches and uh, a few different species. We're out of the concentrated pines as we get a little bit higher here. So we don't have the same canopy of foliage above us. I bet this actually gets a fair bit of sunlight back here. Like this is a really cool upland plateau section to be honest. What is that? This is like really sick up here. I mean, yeah, it needs a little bit of a a brush clean out, but dude, as a campsite, this is our far north, again, northeast part two. Uh, here's that pillar for orientation's sake. Downhill, back over, and then across here. And then it actually is still gonna cut up one more time and then over. You know, it's slightly undulating here, but before it really starts to drop down. So this whole upper section, just figure out which of those best quad roads is the best way to get up here. And then I would, you know, you could have all kinds of fun up here, whether that's uh, campsites, whether that's, you know, tents, yurts, glamping, whether that's uh, some kind of solar off-grid cabin, you know, whatever you really want to do up here. Pretty nice spot. That is really pretty nice actually. This is our upper logging road. This is about 1600 feet of elevation. We are kind of at this little peak here, not quite. And even if you wanted to make this even more of a, of a westerly sunset kind of a view, it wouldn't take too much removing of some of these trees. Um, all kinds of stuff could be done up here. That is the road I've been basically travailing. Um, across the this eastern portion now we are we're approaching the southern edge of the lot so down if i was to follow that road down we would end up at the southern line and then probably dive down back downhill to our entry to the parcel 
And then here is our last little logging intersection. And that is gonna kick us up to that, this last little knoll. And this is the highest spot on the parcel, that, that 1600 foot kind of ridge. And uh, it bumps out again, just a tiny bit further and then over and then back down. But this is again, this is super nice right here. This is like really almost pan flat. I'm in this southern eastern block of the property and it's probably, this is probably the nicest section to be honest. Uh, it's really nice up here, pretty level. Uh, this is a nice big wide logging road. The lower part with all the thick pines was okay and kind of steep, but once you get up here, it's pretty legitimately magical. And if I'm quiet for a second, you're really barely hearing any of that road noise. And we're in the middle of winter where sound will carry through the trees. All right, so nice. So as hoped, there is this upper, this upper perimeter road as well on this side. Now what we're doing is we're heading south um, along this eastern boundary line and you can just start to see a farm meadow in front of us, but that's gonna be our property line on that side. I almost forgot to take video of it, but here we are at the, the final corner. So that's the property line right there. But that's about it. Now I just have to cut west down slope back to the vehicle area. So here's another representative sample. There's, I mean, that is steep, right? So you're not gonna really hike this without using the trails. It's gonna be a steep hillside, but there are so many of these trails on the lot that you, why would you need to, right? Just save it until the next time it's due for a, a logging and then you can kind of create whatever, create the trail network of your dreams. Uh, I think what's here is pretty significant, pretty established and pretty nice. Sort of the options to get to the most of the land. So when you come up from your level, kind of let's call this base camp, um, then you have the lower road, which is what I started on. And then you have some other medium road, which I don't think I took. And then probably the ultimate way to see the best parts of the property if you have one time to look would be to hike up this trail which is from which is basically just stay to the right from that and then that's going to curl around through this young pine stand and then that's going to take you up and then that'll take you around and up to the, the upper part where that agricultural field was on that side and then the widest part is up there and then the original pines and, and whatnot is up there and then where I was in the beginning of the video was down that direction. So I hope that ties it together in terms of how it all works. Um, really interesting property. This could be a great spot for a, for a hunting, snowmobiling, uh, rustic getaway. Really amazing plateau in the very upper part where you could have a quiet getaway. And then down here, I would call it like my base camp. Um, that's kind of what I would envision it as. So once again, thank you so much for tagging along on this recon of this 55 acre parcel on Poplar Hill Road number one in Sydney, New York. The idea of these recon videos is so that you can get a thorough understanding of what the parcel is like, what challenges you might have and what benefits you might have of the lot before you even take a drive out here to come and take a look in person. So I hope that brings you value. If you're interested in this parcel or really anything else you wanna talk about the buying or selling process, please let me know. Richard Santos with Keller Williams, Upstate New York Properties. My cell is 607-222-6867. And my email is richardsantos at kw.com. Thank you so much. I hope you all enjoyed this. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.